All right guys, so all of my pieces are dry and I'm pretty happy with the results. This is the one that I had rolled up. I unrolled it and it's my favorite, I think. I love how dark it is on this little strip here and then it gets very faded and very light. Here's the back. So they are, they're beautiful. And this is the one that I did with just cool colors and colored from the middle out and then sprayed it. Looks kind of like tie dye. This is the one that was in the water cup that soaked up from one side and the other. So again, it still stayed pretty dark, but it's still very, very pretty. Um, I believe I did this one earlier. One of these I did earlier, but no, I did this one earlier. This is the one that I did with the watercolor paint and then sprayed it. Here's the paper napkin. It dried pretty good, actually. Not bad. And then I did this paper napkin earlier. And as I told you, it did rip. This one was just with marker. And this is the one I did with the uh, watercolor paint. All right, so we're gonna turn these into paper roses. I'm gonna just work with one piece at a time so it doesn't get too confusing. So I'll actually just start with this piece here. And I already collect, collected my supplies. So I found these sticks outside. And uh, you're gonna need some yarn or string a pair of scissors, some liquid glue, and your paper towels. Now, I already cut mine in half, so it was one full sheet, and then I just cut it in half. And you're going to be working with one piece at a time. So I'm going to actually take this one and fold it in half. And then I'm gonna fold it up just a little bit, like this. Then I'm going to take one of my sticks and I'm going to get glue on the tip of it. So I'm really just going to dip it in. So I don't have a whole lot, just enough to kind of hold it in place. So I'm going to lay it on the end and then I'll start rolling. When you start rolling these up, I discovered that you want it to stay, um, how do I say this? kind of loose. So the bottom is gonna be tight. The top stays kind of loose. Does that make sense? So, and also as I'm going, I'm letting it roll down the stick a little bit. Try to keep that one part folded. You just kind of have to maneuver it a little bit yourself so it can take the shape of the rose. And if you find a shape that you like as you're going, let it stop, let it be. So this one, I kinda wanna roll this back. So I'm just kinda rolling it. Yeah, that's starting to kind of look like a rose. So from here, you can leave it right here, leave it like this, or add another layer. If you add another layer, it will get a little fuller, but um, just know that it's going to cover up what you have already. So if you like the way that looks, I'd stop there. With this rose, I just did one layer. Sorry about the light. I just did one layer and then I stopped there and I just kind of manipulated the tips of the, I guess the petals and I just curled some of them down just to give it more of a rose shape and a rose look. And then I took my twine and just started wrapping it around just to finish and hold everything in place. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll try with this one. And it works better if you're manipulating these ends after you tie it on. So like, you're gonna wanna tie your yarn first and then do your um, maneuvering, okay? So I'll cut a piece of yarn, twine. Take one side, create a loop, put the tail through like this, like a lasso kinda, put your rose through.
There, so it's tied on. I'm gonna hold this down and start wrapping my twine around, holding it very tight. And I'm just working my way down the stick. When I have about that much left, I'm gonna make another loop and tie it together. Actually, not a loop, I'm sorry. I'm just going to tie it to that piece. It's tricky. Here we go. Pull it tight, as tight as I can. Do that one more time. Carefully you don't break your stick. That would be sad. If you have um, like uh, felt or foam paper, you can even make leaves for your uh, roses. So, okay, so I have that on there. Just gonna trim this back a little bit. Now I can start working on this part to make it more rosy. So to get those to curl back, um, I get a little glue or something on your fingers and it helps to grip that paper towel. You don't wanna rip it either. That works. Trim that off. There. That's pretty, right? Not bad, not bad.
Now you have a beautiful bouquet to give to your mom for Mother's Day. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.